Today, I'm playing Mario 64. However, I'm not just playing the game. Today, we're gonna be busting some myths. So, this should be pretty fun, uh, but at the end of the video, things get pretty scary. So, we'll just have to see. I'll go ahead and do this file. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh wait, never mind. this isn't that scary. Yeah, but here we are, and our it's time for our first myth, which is that Luigi is unlockable in Super Mario 64. Now look, this is an incredibly controversial one um, for the main reason that it just doesn't seem real. Like way back in the past, a lot of people believed this and tried a lot of these things. Um, so today I'm just gonna try one of them, but these get pretty outlandish. So I don't, I don't know, man. I might be collecting coins for hours, who knows? Um, okay, that, that freaked me out. Okay, so, I, I think, I think I, I'm ready here. Um, so Mr. Needlemouse64, he's probably the most popular video of this, uh, but basically, why can't I walk up that? What? Okay, anyways, um, what, what he does is he goes into the castle, and this isn't even a scary myth. We're gonna be finding Wario at the end of this video. Anyways, what we're supposed to do to supposedly unlock Luigi is ground pound all of the small boos. So not the big ones, just the small ones. How do I jump? Okay, I don't know what was going on, but it would let me jump. Okay, there's those three. Now we have three over here. It's not all of them, it's just the small ones. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. There we go, okay. Um, and now I'm going to, cause that's the big one. So we gotta get all the, okay, yeah. So there's three more over here. Come on, there we go. Okay, so that's all of those. And now we got a ground pound on this sign. Uh, let me get on top of it first. That, oh boy, okay. There we go, ground pound. And then we gotta get to the other one and ground pound on that. So we're gonna go just like that. And now we only have one more thing left. We have to get on top of the door. Oh, whoops. How am I supposed to get up here? <laughs> this is so hard. Okay, there we go. Then we just gotta kick this. We hear that like bow. Now all we gotta do is ground out here. I think I gotta get it lined up. Just like that. And we should hear something. Let me try it one more time. We should hear like a draining water sound. Yeah, that's, there's nothing. There's nothing. Well, that is a myth busted. Even though Mario six, in Mario 64, in the files of the original game, Luigi was found, he does not exist. And there is no way to actually play as him inside of the game. So, that is unfortunate. However, I do have another myth for you. And that is, can you, um, whoops, one second. Can you grab on to uh, the underneath of this bridge? Because if you, di if you didn't know, you can grab on to the underside of the bridge in Bob on Battlefield, but I don't know if you can grab on to the underside of this bridge. So I'm gonna be testing that out. No, I forgot to hold A. Okay, so you have to hold A for this to work, so. One second, I'm gonna try this one more time. I am holding down the A button. And yeah, it doesn't seem like you can. Uh, I'm gonna try on this side because I think it's shorter on that side. Oh, and by the way guys, if you're in an older version of the game, here's how you backwards long jump. So you're gonna go, you're gonna long jump, and then you're just gonna hold up while you wall jump the rest of the time. Just hold up while you're wall jumping, or long jumping. But it, it doesn't work on here. I could just kind of move backwards a little bit. But it goes pretty crazy if you're on a different version of the game. For example, the Wii U, the Nintendo 64, or I think it works on the Wii. Come on. Okay, I'm going to get up there. It's, I'm, it's, it's, this is going to work. I grabbed the coin, but yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any way to get up there. Unfortunately. So yeah, that myth is another one, but... Okay, our next myth is that there is a way that you can change... That you can fix the swimming in this game. So if you don't know, when you swim, for some reason the controls are inverted. So when you go up, it takes you down. 
which I guess is like flight controls, but still a lot of people absolutely hate this because when you go left and right, like it just is so weird and feels very unnatural. So I'm gonna be seeing if there is a way that you can actually change this. And because I'm on this version of the game, I should be able to invert the camera, but it doesn't seem like I can invert this. Okay, so we busted a lot of myths, but this one might actually be true. And that is that there is a secret, whoops, that there is a secret level at the bottom of the waterfall, or the top of the waterfall, or something like that. I'm not sure, but as you just saw, I jumped into it, and it seems like there is nothing. There we go. However, there is the vanish cap, which is right beneath the waterfall, so I think a lot of people might just remember it being this way, uh, which is a little bit of a hint, hint, nudge, nudge towards every copy of Mario 64 being personalized, which is actually the thing I'm going to do next. But it's not exactly in the way that you would think. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to quickly leave the game. So now I'm gonna reopen Mario 64 and I'm going to start a new file and then I'm gonna do one star in Bob on Battlefield and we're going to see if it's any different. Hello. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Mario B and we're gonna see if it is any different than it is on the other version that I'm going to play next. So this is Super Mario 3D All-Stars that I'm currently playing this on. No, she wants me to have some cake at the castle, and I'm like, all right, sure, why not? But turns out Peach is actually the villain of this game. She was, Bowser told her to lure me into the castle so that way Bowser could make it look like he captured Peach. One of it's one of those things, guys. No, I'm just kidding. That's just a theory. A game theory. But for real, um, yeah, we're gonna be doing this. Okay, so we're here, and uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, one second. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, Lakitu. Lakitu Bros here. All right, good to know. Thanks, man. Uh, see you around, I guess. Wait! Wait a minute! Who's filming the Lakitu? If Lakitu just appeared, then... Who was filming Mario? Alright, I currently have zero stars, but I'm going to be doing something in Bob on Battlefield real quick, and then we're gonna kinda assess the castle, see how normal it looks, and then we're gonna try our different version of the game and see if it's any different. Okay, so there are two bob bombs here. There are three signs here. There's a cannon here. And then there's also, um, there's a big block here and then a small block. Okay. Um, there's the, there's the switch right there. And yeah, you can actually grab onto this. You can't grab onto the one under the castle though. You can grab onto this and the one in Tall Tall Mountain, which is something that is very interesting to me. Um, Anyway, so we're gonna do our first star, which is going to be, if I can make it past here alive, um, I'm going to fight Bob on battle, or, oh my gosh. I'm gonna fight the Bob King at the top of the castle, I guess. Hey you, it's dangerous ahead, so listen up, take my advice. Cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for falling water bombs. The big bomb at the top of the mountain is a very powerful. Don't let him grab you. All right. Good to know. Um, now we're gonna see if that text is exactly the same in the other version. And here's King Bob. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. And we're gonna get our first star. There we go. See ya. Nice. Ha! We got the Bob King. High score. Let's go. Okay. Save and continue. Now, there's two signs there. Remember that. There's two signs. All right, the castle looks pretty normal. What happens if I look up? That's weird. There's nothing there. 
We're of course going for Super Mario 64, and we're gonna see how it's different. First off, it does say, um, this isn't like the HD remastered version, this is like the original original, um, but it's still the Shindu version, so no backwards long jumping, um, unfortunately. However, you might have noticed that it says 1996 only, and in the other version it said 1996 and 1997, which is something kind of weird. Some of this I think might just be the Mandela effect, which is basically when you, like, when you falsely remember something, or it could be also be confirmation bias, which is basically just the same thing, it's just like, when you want to think something is real, you'll think it's real. So, I don't know. Like, because I'm looking for a difference right now, I see it, and I think it's different. Which I think is what is the root of every copy of Mario 64 is personalized. Like, here, I'm not long jumping, but I would have done- it would have long jumped in the other version. So there's kind of weird things like that. The L button does absolutely nothing, so that's interesting. Oh, right, I gotta assess the castle first. So, castle... Looks pretty normal. Looks about the same. What happens when I look up? Nothing. It, it's the same. It's literally the exact same. Okay, so there's three signs. There's one big crate, one small crate. And then there's two of these guys here. I'm gonna talk to this guy. I'm gonna see if it's the same. Hey you, it's Dangerous Head, so listen up. Take my advice. Cross the two bridges ahead. Watch for falling water bombs. The big bomb at the top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. We're the Bob-omb bodies, and we're by your side, okay? Okay, then. Um, I have a feeling that this is the same, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, you might notice that the grass... Wait, the grass! It's a different color on the path and on the actual grass. Wait, that's weird. That's very weird. And I can still grab on here, okay? That's all normal. These flip at the top. Still, they flipped at the top in the other version too. Okay, the red coins are all normal. The chain chomp's here. He just disappeared. Um, don't know what's going on there. Uh, everything looks normal over there. All right, I'm gonna go back up the bridge real quick. Ah, okay, we're good. Uh, now I can't fall off this bridge again, so I'm gonna go like that. All right. And now, oh my gosh. Wait a minute, these rolling balls are 2D in this version. They were 3D in the other version. Is that just a remake thing? Or is that personalization? The game, the game's advanced AI knew that I wanted it to be 2D, so that way it'd be different, and it did. Anyways, everything should be the exact same here. Except for the fact that King Babon is now 2D. Or at least the the ball it's the ball itself is 2D. The crown and stuff is all 3D, but that's completely 2D, which is kinda weird. Yeah, I mean we got him. For now, farewell. Yep. It's, it's the same, guys. It's the same. So that is that. And it gives the same peace sign. So there you go. It has that whole thing. It talks about Womp's Fortress. There's two signs there. Everything's the same, guys. Every copy of Mario 64 isn't personalized. And there you have it. Once and for all. There you have it, folks. Once and for all. There is no personalization in Mario 64. There are zero copies of Mario 64 that are personalized. Except for hacked copies. So now, it's time for the scariest myth of them all. And that is the Wario apparition.
Now it's time for a bonus myth. Now our bonus myth today is that you can get behind the stained glass window and free Peach before without getting any stars in Mario 64. Although you can rescue Peach with zero stars, it's not done by breaking into the stained glass window. And there is actually no way to access this in all of Mario 64 without using some type of hack. However, there is a really odd space of roughly 20 feet in between the stained glass window on the outside and the inside. And many people believe that this is where Peach is hidden the whole game. But there's no way to unlock her with zero stars, so that's another myth busted. So let me give you a little bit of history before I just dive right in. Back in Space World 1995 or 94, I don't really remember, but I think it was Space World 95. When Mario 64 was shown to the public, um, they had like a little like demo thing um, that people could play, but when there wasn't a demo, there was just a little thing of like Wario on the screen with Dire Dire Docks behind him. I think you see where I'm going with this. And you might remember, some of you guys might remember seeing the videos of Mario 64, of Wario appearing and saying, you want fun? Wario has... Mar Wario has fun, or Wario knows fun, or something like that, which is one of the funny dialogue lines that he had at the demo. But then, there are there are some videos out there that show Wario, after he says that, he starts chasing Mario, and these were in beta builds of Mario 64. So now, it is time for me to face my fears, Dude, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I have my, now, the best piece of advice is to turn off your your console as soon as Wario appears. So I'm gonna slowly approach. Hey, um, Got a little scared there. Okay, look, if I turn back on my Switch, will Wario be there? Will it all be Wario? Oh my gosh, the game froze. Dude, I thought I had, like bricked my Switch or something. No, no, no. I made the sacrifice for you guys. And you know what? I'll give you something to look at. I'll turn on my Switch. But not not to 3D All-Stars. Oh my gosh, no. I'm going to open the news. We're, we're going to read about Mario Party, okay? Uh, any, anyways. Uh, ah, Wario! Now Wario is just everywhere. Oh, there he is again. Okay. Okay. Ah! Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and um, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, and that's pretty much it. I'll be catching you in the next one. And let me know um, if, if there are any more myths in Mario 64 you want me to bust, or if you want me to do some myth busters on, like, Mario Party or uh, Mario Galaxy. I don't know. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, I will do... Why did I open back up the game? Oh my gosh. Uh, if there's anything you want to see, I will do it. So, that's pretty much it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Get me out of this, please. No.